Here are some of Peachy's favourite things. Link in the description below. Hey guys, Peachy here from Peachy TT120. Oh, it's pirate pudding time. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, with the blood and custard. Uh, oh, they're stunning. Let's get on with the review. Right, let's get straight into end of box photo. Thank you very much. TT4005, the BR Mark I Composite Corridor, uh, coach number E15058, M4, of course, and then TT4005A, uh, uh, and which is E15303, and TT4005B, uh, E15481. Basically, three, three coaches the same, but with a different number which is nice. Everyone would like to have the separate number coaches. Uh, then we've got TT4006, the BR Mark I Corridor Break, second, uh, E34734, Era 4. Now, I believe there is, well, there is, I believe I know, there is a TT4006A, which is the other break. That's not available yet. Uh, it's supposed to be coming soon. You have to pre-order it if you want it. Oh, wait till it turns up. Um, but let's get on with uh, having a little chat about the blood and custards. Blood and custards? Don't you mean crim don't you mean crimson lake and cream? Well, I don't know. Crimson lake and cream always sounded to me a bit like some progressive dudes coming out of LA in the sixties or seventies. But um, anyway, uh, Mark One's Era Four, early BR, post-war. It's when uh, the, the big four got together and came up with a, a design, uh, I'm sure you all know this, uh, that was ended up being used all over the country, uh, up into the 80s, I'm sure. It had a number of uh, said various liveries. This, I believe, was the first one. We saw circa 1951 to 56, I believe, before it went full crimson. And then you had various other uh, areas of the Western region. I think they had them in brown and cream, chocolate and cream, um, and there's blue, and, isn't, was there a blue and grey one? Anyway, I digress. Um, cracking little coaches. Uh, these models are, I think, exceptionally detailed. I love the details such as the uh, the periscopes on the roof of the brake van uh, and the bars on the window of the, I guess that's the mail storage, is it? Um, these are all first class apart from I think there's a second class on the well they say it's second class corridor on the break but the graphic on the side is a one so I'm not quite sure if that's a misprint or whether that's something that happened anyway I don't know um, you do get to see through and see, you know, see the corridor through there which is nice uh, another really nice little detail that is highlighted more in these and then the era five crimsons is that the cream printing at the top of the windows at the pull downs is much more visible on these windows than it ever was on the crimson on the crimson you just don't notice it. it's just all too dark um talking of the crimson ones i can't find any differences in the molds uh, everything seems exactly the same even the under undercarriage so i'm wondering are we going to hear the scrape 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 as we go around the the, the third radius curves um, it looks like either Hornby have so decided that uh, that scraping is purely from people not putting the radius free curves down properly or um, or they just think well actually it's not that bad a problem um, you can't to be honest with you when you when you've got the HM7000 app going and you've got your locos making it full steam you cannot hear any scraping it's completely drowned out yes i know that it's that's unfortunate for people who are um into dc only and don't want sound but um i want silent running uh but you there are i think is it gary hall has done a little bit on um facebook and also on the forum about where you can on his youtube channel as well uh where where you can scrape the plastic away with a scalpel uh, to give it a bit more clearance. Um, obviously, you, uh, if you do that, you lose any warranty that you may have on the products. But um, I don't really think they're much of a warranty issue, to be honest with you. Anyway, 
enough spinning and making people feel a little bit giddy. All right, let's get them on the track. Okay, just as an example of um, just how well these Mark ones run. They're just as good as the uh, as the Era Five that's already been out. Uh, they are they do free wheel beautifully. Um, so this layout is in about one degrees. Um, let's just see how she rolls. That's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> there is, I swear, hardly any angle on this table. It's as flat as I can make it. Hey guys, uh, well, um, that was a success really. Um, I, we, you saw in the, in the video, I put the microphone right by the track and I couldn't hear any scraping. Um, so uh, maybe I've got lucky with this set. Uh, maybe before we have sorted it out, who knows, but these weren't making a sound. Um, and that was with the volume down to 20, the volume at 80, it's impossible to hear anything really, um, let, let, let alone yourself think. Um, so anyway, um, I'm happy, uh, looking forward to some more of these coming out because uh, these Legos could easily pull a proper uh, rake of nine. Uh, absolutely no no problem whatsoever. Um, great. Cheers, guys. Oh, hang on. We'll have a wrap up, haven't we? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the little bell, poke Peach in the face, check out these two videos. Cheers.